Welcome to another exercise in a workbook statistics. This time I'm going to talk about the normal distribution. Let's have a look at our exercise. Here we have, at a hotline it takes on average 5 minutes for a call to be serviced, whereas this time can be seen as being normally distributed. The variance of the service times is 0 0.76 minutes squared. So much for the general information. Then our first task is, what is the probability that more than 7 minutes are required to service a call? Second, which share of calls require between 2 and 6 minutes? And finally, in an hour, 300 calls arrive. How many of those require 5 or more minutes of work? Well, let's start with the first part, because we do not really have to talk a lot about which distribution to use, since here in the text it already says normally distributed. Well, as I said, let's start with the first one. And in A, we're looking for the probability that a call takes seven minutes or longer. So since we cannot calculate this properly for values with x being larger than something, we're going to use the counter probability here. So instead of this one, we're going with one minus, and then we turn this sign around. So instead of looking for all the values larger than 7, we're going to subtract this probability of larger than, uh, of smaller than 7 from 100%. So we're looking to the other side of the distribution. For this, we also know from the text, we have an average of 5 minutes and we have a variance of 0 0.76. We're not going to use the variance, we're going to use the standard deviation. So we're going to take first off the square root of the variance, giving us here a standard deviation of 0.8718. We continue working with this one, because in the first step, we're going to standardize this value. Standardization in this case means we're going to subtract the mean and we're going to divide by the standard deviation. If we have this, we get as a result 2.29. That's the value we can look up in the table for the standard normal distribution. Because this big phi means nothing else than look the value inside the brackets up in the corresponding table for the standard normal distribution. Well, if we do this, we get as a, a result as a value from the table 0.989. So the end result is 1.1%. So there's a 1.1% chance that a call will take longer than seven minutes to service. Well, that was already the first part. So let's continue with the second one, with part B. And in part B, we should calculate the uh, probability that a call takes somewhere between two and six minutes to be serviced. In this case, we can always work the following way, meaning whenever we have an interval starting at one value, going until a certain other value, we're going to take the upper bound. First go with P of X being smaller or equal to 6, 6 the upper bound. And then we're going to subtract probability of X being smaller than 2, 2 being the lower bound. So it's always upper bound minus lower bound. We also have the same information as before regarding the mean and the standard deviation. So for both of those probabilities, we can standardize the values, and then look them up in the corresponding table for the standard normal distribution. Well, if we normalize these values, uh, sorry, standardize these values, we get in the first case 1.15. That's a positive value. We can look this up in the table. And the second one, we have minus 3.44. The tables always give us positive values. So we first have to change this in a way as that we consider instead something like the counter probability again. So we go with one minus and then doing this. So we could also put brackets here, then we would have a minus in this case as well. So we replace this with 1 minus phi of 3.44. Then 
because the 3.44 we can look up in the table. Well, we're going to look up those two values, giving us first for the 1.15, that one here, and for the 3.44, this one. Then we're just going to summarize this result, giving us as an end result 87.46%. So the chance that a call takes somewhere between four, uh, two and six minutes is about, well, 87.5%. That was already the second one, leaving us with only one more task to go. That's a part C. Here in part C, we want to know how many of the 300 calls which arrive take five minutes or longer. Well, we could also do this one with counter probability since it's larger or equal to, then we're going to normalize this and look the value up, or we can simply think that the five is the mean. The standard deviation, uh, the normal distribution, the standard normal distribution as well, they're both symmetrical, meaning the probability that I'm larger or smaller than the mean is exactly 50%. Half of them are to the left of the mean, half of them are to the right of the mean of all possible outcomes. Well, so we have 50% here. We multiply 300 with 50%. So we get as a result, 150 calls will be taking longer than five minutes. Well, that was it about this exercise. I hope you enjoyed it. I say goodbye and see you next time.